Today is Indigenous Peoples Day, and joining us now to talk more about the work being done in the Native American community is Kevin LaChapelle from the San Diego American Indian Health Center. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you again, Kevin. Likewise, this is, thank you. This is a really important topic, and people may yes. not realize 58,000 Native American, Alaskan, yes. uh, people call San Diego County home. So it's a significant population yes. and it can be somewhat undermet when it comes to healthcare services. Sure. Well, it's challenging because you also have a county that's large and sometimes yeah. the getting transportation to care. So access to care is definitely a challenge. And most recently, we just acquired a mobile health unit that we can actually extend our reach out into the communities, which we think is really important. Yeah, I mean, if they can't or don't have the uh, the desire to come necessarily yes. to the clinics that are available, yes. this is a way to get the health care services to them. Talk also about uh, really the, the risk factors for mm -hmm. the indigenous population. There's a lot of health disparities. So from obesity, you know, hypertension, um, a lot of different things. And I think a lot of this lies in our ability to engage our patients and to be able to connect with them in unique ways so that we can help build relationships with trust, culturally appropriate care, so we can help them partner in their care to help with these issues. And that, of course, also means that the staffing and resources in general are educated on the cultural significance uh, of these communities as well. Absolutely, because there's been tr significant trauma on our indigenous people that have happened that have implications within their health. And so we understanding these things is very helpful for us to really to build that relationship. We also learn a lot from our indigenous people, their connection with nature and, and storytelling, all the different things. It's really an amazing opportunity to connect. So let's talk about those services that are available to them, especially through the San Diego American Indian Health Center. What specific resources are available? How can members of this community take advantage of them? So we have full service and we have integrated care with medical, behavioral health and dental and wellness programs and even active aging programs as well. We have an amazing elder group uh, that meets monthly that is just an incredible opportunity as well. So they don't necessarily have to have uh, specific insurance programs, I mean, how do they access the care? So if they're from federally recognized tribes, then Indian Health Service covers that care. Okay. And then, but we serve everyone as well. So um, we are able to get people on, you know, Medi-Cal and the different programs there to make sure that they're getting the best care possible. How long has the center been around and been providing those resources? And this year is our 45th year anniversary. So it's been amazing. Yes, yeah. it's just incredible what they've done over the last 45 years. And has the data shown that it's increasing the, the numbers that are needing to be met to give them the care? It is, but we're still having challenges okay. in healthcare across this country, unlocking that code of engaging patients so we can partner with them in care, and that's where our focus is here. Do you find that that's more due to access or more due to a lack of relationship and trust? I think it's both. I think that trust and relationship is huge, and then it also is an access to care. People don't realize transportation is not easy, especially if you live out in the um, rural areas. So are there certain events coming up maybe that you want people to know about mm -hmm. or clinics coming up people can take advantage of? Sure, so we have things going on all the time. We have great talking circles, drumming circles, things like that. But we also have the annual powwow in, in May at Pueblo Park, which is an amazing opportunity. We also have a winter gathering coming up. Uh, and so that will be fun too. That'll be in, in uh, November, December. And so that would be another opportunity for them. And those will all be posted on our website. And I know there's usually booths there set That's up right. to, to help build yes. that, the relationship aspect Absolutely. of Absolutely. How can people access uh, the organization and, and find out about some of those services. Just go to sdaihc.org and you can contact us there and we'll be glad to reach out and connect with you and help you. All right. Kevin, thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll have all that information on our website at kusi.com as well. Coming up next on...